Let's compute the integral of secant x dx. Now you might already know what this is equal to, but you might not have seen how to actually go through the integral. And I do want to say there are several ways you can approach this. I'm just going to do it in the way that I think is the easiest to remember. So I'll start by using what my definition of secant x, uh, secant x is. So secant is just 1 over cosine. So I can rewrite my integral as 1 over cosine x dx. Now this is still not super obvious how I can integrate this. So I'm going to multiply by a factor of cosine x in the numerator and the denominator. So this becomes the integral of cosine x over cosine squared x dx. And now looking at my denominator, my cosine squared x, I know I can rewrite this as 1 minus sine squared x using my trig identities. And so my integral now becomes 1 over, or sorry, um, cosine x over 1 minus sine squared x dx. And now I can see that I have a function and its derivative within the integral. I have sine x and cosine x which means I can do some substitution. So u is equal to sine x, and du is equal to cosine x dx. So now I could rewrite my integral in terms of u. So this becomes 1 over 1 minus u squared du. Now this is something that I could actually integrate. This is going to be a partial fraction decomposition problem. So let's factor the denominator I have. 1 over 1 minus u times 1 plus u du. And now splitting this up into two integrals, I have, or two fractions, two integrals, same thing. I get a over 1 minus u plus b over 1 minus u du. And now I'm going to combine this, a and b are just constants. Now I'm going to combine this into one fraction to be able to solve for my constants a and b. So I have um, a times 1, oh sorry, this is plus, 1 plus u plus b times 1 minus u over the original denominator that I had, which is 1 minus u times 1 plus u. And now all I have to do is match my new numerator to my old numerator. So distributing my a's and b's, I have a plus, uh, a plus au plus b minus bu is all equal to 1. And now I can create a system of equations based off of my coefficients. So I have a plus b is equal to 1 and a minus b is equal to 0. So the result from my second equation tells me that a is equal to b, and so I can very quickly get that a is equal to b is equal to 1 half. And now replacing my result for my constants into the integral, and also splitting up the integral, I can now come up with, and I'm also going to be taking out the constants outside of the integral. So I have 1 over 1 minus u, and then the factor of 1 half is outside, plus one half integral of one over one plus u du. Now these two integrals are relatively easy to integrate. Um, technically you're doing another substitution. I'm not going to show the steps because it's pretty, pretty straightforward. So you get for the first one it's negative one half log one minus u and then the second one is one half log one plus one plus u plus the arbitrary constant c. At this point, we are done with the integration. Of course, we do have to replace um, what we substituted u with, but we're, we're done with the integration. So this becomes, I can condense this, condense this into one log using my proper properties of logs. So I have 1 half log of 1 plus u over 1 minus u plus c, and I define u as sine x. So this becomes 1 half log 1 plus sine x over 1 minus sine x plus c. Now this is, we're done, and this isn't wrong, but this isn't the way we're familiar, or if I googled what is the integral of, si of secant x, it's probably, I'm not going to see this result. 
So let's do some algebraic manipulation to get it in a more familiar form. So from this step, I'm going to multiply my ins the inside of the log by a factor of 1 plus u in the top and the bottom. So I have 1 plus u squared over um, 1 minus u times 1 plus u. I'm also going to be ignoring the um, constant c for now. So this becomes, uh, I can replace my sign term into here and I get using my information and definitions from uh, way earlier, I get a 1 plus sine x squared over a 1 minus sine um, squared x, and then this can be rewritten as 1 half log one plus sine x over cosine x all squared. And then again, using my properties of logs, I could take this exponent two outside. So this becomes log of one over cosine x plus sine x over cosine x or log of secant x plus tan x plus the arbitrary constant c and that's it.